Well, thousands packed into Eastern Market on Sunday for the annual Flower Day, but now the market is talking about expanding. Take a look at this map. If all goes as planned, it could add another 150 acres, which would mean more jobs, also more revenue. Local Forest Guy Gordon is live at Eastern Market, and usually, Guy, it's the plants and produce doing the growing. Now we're talking about the market itself. Yeah, it's so important, as we know, just to, just to the fabric of our community, Karen. But you know what's happened in other cities, cities like Chicago and New York City? These markets have been forced out. They're extinct because what happens is property values come up, and next thing you know, the gritty business of food processing is forced out. You got yuppie bars, nightclubs, white tablecloth, restaurants, and you lose an important part of your economy, your food economy for low-skilled workers. And besides, we got to preserve this because it's part of who we are. Jim Pellerita wanted to expand five years ago. Now the city has land, a plan, and he's ready to begin the process of tripling his business in six months. Phase one's gonna be 50 employees, and phase two is gonna be around 150 employees additional to what we have now. Eastern Market plans to add 100 to 150 acres north and east, with 20 businesses now expressing readiness to expand. Over 10 years, it could be as uh, many as 3,000 to 4,500 jobs and upwards of $300 million of investment. Food processors need new buildings to meet tougher food safety standards. Plans include a food innovation zone and a space for food entrepreneurs and startups. Shed 4 will be enclosed with 60 mixed income residences built on top. And while development is forcing out some urban gardens, Eastern Market is including an expanded market garden in its future. It will be a, a, a huge production farm in 10 years for sure, no doubt. The market may modernize, its character will not. The neighborhood becomes more of an everyday destination because you have retail and residential that feeds a convenience retail as, as well as our mega Saturday destination retail. Now you're looking live at the uh, lot that's some of the uh, vacant area where they hope to expand to bring in that food innovation. And they also, uh, the startups are so important. We've seen kitchen table businesses go to uh, big retailers. It's a part of the economy that really has the opportunity for growth. So Karen, this is the kind of incubator that they also want to create here. Multifaceted from, uh, from farm to table uh, to supermarket. It's really got a lot of promise, a lot of work ahead, 10 year plan, but we're glad that they're taking this action to preserve this part of our uh, culture and our, our heritage. I know it's such an important family tradition for so many folks to go there each week and it's nice to see the city uh, backing that.